amplification systems were being used all over the country and even throughout Nebraska. And we thought, why aren't they being used in Lincoln? We need to change that. So we partner with Dr. Joel and LPS, and we begin the Here to Learn project. It's a pilot program to increase student achievement by improving the classroom listening environment. Here to Learn responds to problems associated with classroom noise and children's <coughs> fluctuating hearing. Children need a signal, which is the teacher's voice, 15 decibels above the background noise to clearly understand what's going on. And sadly, in the typical American classroom, that the teacher's voice only rises about four decibels above that noise. It's all about getting what is already being said in the classroom to the brain. When Dr. Joel heard and recognized the problem and our unique public-private proposal, we were able to move forward very quickly. One of our first calls was to Sharon Weary at the foundation to provide us with a tax-exempt organization with transparency, credibility, and accountability. Sharon jumped on board immediately, and she's been a tremendous supporter and champion for us. She's provided with a, us with a quick start, marketing assistance, and donor connections. And we are very, very grateful for her help. And without the foundation and the ease with which we could account for funds and raise and distribute funds to multiple schools, the project would have been much more difficult for us. When unique projects come together like this, driven by volunteers, having a foundation that is flexible and can provide support is very powerful. Uh, it can fuel innovation and respond to community initiatives in a way that can be difficult for LPS. Classroom amplification systems weren't on LPS's radar, at least in the near term. But Here to Learn was able to elevate awareness of classroom, of classroom acoustics and it's important to staff and community. And the principals, the teachers, and the kids, they love them. Uh, it also helped that the Journal Star covered the project four times, as did the Huffington Post, KLKN, 1011, UNL Today, Big Ten Network, and LPS.org. We're also on Facebook, we have an incredible video on YouTube if you haven't seen it. And ultimately, the Here to Learn project has resulted in nearly $200,000 going to LPS classroom amplification systems. And these funds helped outfit every room in seven LPS elementary schools. And Beth and I are very grateful for the funding provided by nine foundations 65 individual and corporate donors, and Dr. Joel, who helped make Here to Learn a reality. We want to thank business leaders in this room, like uh, from Emeritus and Smith Hayes, who contributed to make this project a reality. And if other people or companies would be interested in this project, we have classroom uh, sponsorship opportunities, or even sponsor a whole school with classroom amplification systems. Uh, it is the most cost-effective investment in technology, classroom technology, that you can make today. So Beth and I continue to provide technical assistance to the schools. We write grant reports. And we're also working with UNL's Barclay Center, uh, who is planning an analysis on student assessment data prior to and after implementation of the amplification systems. Um, we've already worked with them to um, take existing room acoustics and teacher adaptations to the system. Beth will tell you more about that. We are appreciative of Dr. Joel and his recognition of the critical importance of hearing for all kids. And uh, he recently committed to outfitting all new schools with classroom amplification systems as they're built, and also to continue to study and look at ways to amplify, you know, the possibilities of amplifying all LPS classrooms. And now Beth is going to talk about, more specifically about classroom amplification research and the preliminary findings of our pilot and how we are moving forward. 